flotation device. I've got my paddle and I've got my canoe in the water. Let's go canoeing. Hi friends, I'm gonna teach you how to make one of these really cool sponge balls here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need three just regular sponges. And what you're going to do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut your sponge into three strips. Now these strips do not have to be perfect. We're going for handmade, not Hallmark here. Just like that. So you're gonna do that to all three of your sponges. Bonus points if they're multicolored here. Now you can keep them all in the same line or you can mix them up and then you're going to take a rubber band and as best you can rubber band it right in the middle and you'll end up with something like this and then all you have to do is give it a little bit of twist, fluff it up, and ta-da! You have your very own sponge ball and we'll teach you a really fun game and challenge to play with it next. All right, everybody, we're gonna teach you how to play a game with our sponge balls here. So first we're gonna do sponge ball toss. So Amy is gonna to toss to Caitlin, and if she completes the toss, she's gonna to take a step back and then back. There you go, and take a step back. All right, and take a step back. There you go, so we wanna see how far you can toss your sponge ball without dropping it. Now, if you drop it, then you have to squeeze it over the top of your head. That's the rule. Oh, these two are too good. All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna shake it up here a little bit. Now we're gonna, okay, okay. Oh! oh! Yay! Yay! Okay, okay, so this next. So for this next game, everyone needs a sponge ball and you're gonna see if you can coordinate throwing and catching the sponge balls. It should be really good, we should be really good. Tune in tomorrow.